I am one for the phone. I love my phone. I just wish it would work some of the times. Now, many countries claim that feta is their cheese, but it's hard to say who was truly the first to make it. Although the Greeks do claim responsibility for it. Now, whoever is responsible, there's one thing that is true. The salty, tangy, milky, with a creamy yet crumbly texture always adds something special to your meal. Chef Michael is here this morning to show us a few variances of feta and what they're best paired with. Good morning, Chef Michael. Good How are morning. you? I'm good, thank you. Very I'm good. good. Always good to have have you in our Thank espresso you. kitchen. Thank you. Now we've now, got some exciting fetters to talk about today. Um, feta, as you say, is a, is a, is a hard, fairly crumbly cheese. Yes. Um, this, is the, this is the Greek version. Mm -hmm. um, usually about 70%-ish or so of sheep's milk. Okay. And then um, goat's milk too. The higher the percentage of goat's milk, the drier and crumbly yes. the, the cheese is. So it's quite, it's, quite, it's quite firm. Okay. And then you have the Danish, what they call the Danish white. Mm. And, and this is a much more sort of creamy type of, um, uh, of, of cheese. Lovely in, in, in salads mm, and things yeah. like that. Okay. And then here we have our good old local feta, also lovely and really nice and firm. Now, the feta usually comes in a little tub in a yeah. salt water brine, um, but you can now find um, feta packed in little plastic sleeves. Yes, I see which that. Is, um, and, and in different sizes too, so that you can just use one whole cheese mm. for your salad or whatever so you do. So when you say it. local feta, clearly this is our this variant is of the feta. South African made yeah. from cow's milk. Okay, lovely. Yeah. And then of course you can use feta to do lots of sort of exciting things with mm. it. You can mix black peppercorns into it. Oh, lovely. Which just you, adds sort of extra flavor to salads. And, and, and then here's a, a sort of a marinated one, marinated with with black pepper and chopped olives and herbs and all sorts of exciting things. Lovely on a, on a Mediterranean salad. Or pizza. Yeah. Pizza on a okay. pizza, perfect. Maybe you'd want one without without the oil to, to go on the nice. on the pizza, but that would work well because it would just give you extra flavor. Okay. And then here, this is the sort of oh, what do we the, have the real fun thing. These are these are large olives which have been stuffed with feta cheese. <gasps> My favorite. Now I mean this at, in the evening with a glass of I know. chilled dry sherry would be just wonderful. Wow, that's like beating, so, that's like having two, you know, killing two birds with one stone because I love olives and feta together. Now it's like perfect, all in one. all in one, wonderful. absolutely. So there we go. Okay, wonderful stuff. You can let us know on our Facebook page what is your favorite recipe to use feta in. Let us know on Espresso Morning Show SABC3 because after the break, we're making a very interesting recipe, aubergines and feta cheese in a Chinese sauce. It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. We're back in our espresso kitchen here on SABC3 and we're cooking a very interesting meal this morning, aubergine and feta in a Chinese sauce. With us we have our resident chef, Chef Michael, taking us through the paces. What do we need for this recipe? Well, we need obviously aubergine sliced into some chunks. Nice. And then we've got um, ginger. ginger and garlic, mm -hmm. some black bean sauce, and that's a chili, a sambal ulek, a chili Ooh, sauce. Okay. And then we've got some feta and some soy and some spring onions. Awesome. So we'll go off with getting some oil nice and hot in the wok. Just a touch, just a just touch. Just a little touch. <laughs> and we'll get the aubergine going there. What I like about the aubergine is it has a lovely meaty consistency. So yeah, it does. It's meat free Monday. This is a great alternative Absolutely. to meat as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we do is we just stir this around a little bitty mm -hmm. um, to get it nice and golden and just starting to soften a little bit. I hope we have enough. I hope we have enough time. <laughs> but you know what? I actually read a very funny story about aubergines the other day. Um, it, it basically said that fifth century, in a fifth century Chinese scroll, fashionable Chinese women used to take the skin of an aubergine and use it to make a dye. And then what they did was they painted their teeth with the dye of the aubergine and it was a beautiful grey, shiny grey colour. And that was all the rage back in uh, the day in China. <laughs> hey? So what they were, sort of oyster grey instead of... <laughs> No, instead of pearly whites, <laughs> Chinese, very fascinating the things it. that they do. Yeah, and of course, aubergine's got sort of three names. Yeah. Uh, aubergine, which is the sort of the French 
um, name, and then and then brinjal, which is a, a name that we tend to use a lot here yes. in South Africa, and eggplants as well. And they were called eggplants because originally they were round and, and had a white skin. Okay. And that, yeah. So that's where the, that's where that name so comes from. So that's where it came from. Right. Well, we're starting to colour up a little bit here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make us a little well in the middle. Okay. And just pop awesome. a little snicket more oil in there, right. and then we'll pop in the. The ginger. And, and we want to take some of the crunch out of it. We want it to be a bit softer, right? Yep. Ginger and Wow. Well the smell there. is oh. see, there we go. It's all good. Right, it's all good. <laughs> and we just cook that a little bit and then nice. we can add the, the black bean sauce in Why there. Why would you make that little hole in the middle and well, add everything on the well, inside? Well because it, the, the aubergine continues cooking around the oh. outside and you want to get some sort of quite concentrated heat on. Yes on what's going on here. Now chili sambal goes in there. Some chili, and then we just stir this around a little bit. Wow, and then we it can smells mix spicy. It. Yeah, it is very spicy. We can mix it in and we can then add the, add the water. And then what you want to do is you just want to cook it down gently so that most of the water has, has cooked away. Okay. And then we'll add a nice thick soy sauce to it. Nice. Well, it's looking and pretty good. And of course, good. the feta. And I'm using the local, the local, local cow's feta. milk yes. feta there. <laughs> and really, that's that's about it. And then, and then what you need to do is just let this cook a little bit more, a little bit gently. Okay. Yeah. And while we're letting it cook a bit gently, if you would like the recipe for this. Uh, delicious dish and of course meat free monday is what we are celebrating today you can sms the word feta to 33728 and we will send it directly to your mobile phone very nice variation to meat tonight a very healthy alternative as well except for the feta but that's okay and then that's what it lands up looking that's like, what it the looks end. like and i've got that. some i've got some spring onion here so we'll just we'll just pop that on top this oh, will give you a little gorgeous. bit of nice little oniony bite and if you if you Fond of chili and want a little bit, a little bit more kick to it. You can, you can add just that. add some sliced chili there. Wonderful stuff. And here I like we go. This. It, it's very different, um, but uh, like I said, a nice alternative. To absolutely, not and you meat. can you can use it as a as a first course at a meal as well. This is true. There we awesome. go. Isn't that pretty? May I taste it? Absolutely. Yay! And of course, this grows goes on our green mat. Uh, lovely feeds a family of four. Under 100 rand? Yep. Really nice. Okay, so I get to taste it. You get to taste. Mm, mm, mm. Nice. Wow, all the tastes come together yeah, so and, nicely. And you and you know the soy the soy sauce is seasoning it, so you don't mm. need salt. The fat is quite salty. And then of course you've got your chili instead of your black pepper, Beautiful. so it's nicely seasoned. Well done, Chef Michael. Pleasure. You can come back anytime. Yeah, thank now, you. <laughs> now from women who like to dye their teeth purple to women who like to wear red lips, Liesel has more details. 